I'm an entrepreneur, you say. You're excited about taking charge of your income and you're excited about living your best life, right? You may sell your spouse, your mom, your dad, your cousins, maybe even your best friend. But after that, that phone gets a little heavier, doesn't it? Hi, I'm Money Smart Guy, Matt Sapala, and in this video, I wanna share with you five shifts in mindset when it comes to sales to help alleviate a lot of anxiety, to attract more business, and live your best life. Tip number one, everything is sales. Now relax, you're already doing everything that naturally involves some form of sales process. You probably don't even think about how many times a day you sell and you don't even know it. You sell yourself that you're gonna have a good day. You sell yourself this is a horrible day. You sell to interview for a job. You sell yourself every day to keep that job and you sell to get promoted in that job too as well. You need to sell yourself to get a date, don't you? And then when you're on that date, you gotta sell yourself to be convincing enough to get on a second date, right? And if you really like each other, you really gotta sell to make sure you sell yourself to get married to her or him, right? Think about your politicians. They say, I'll do this so you vote for me. And they campaign again to make sure they keep your vote. Isn't that sales? It sure is. Think about your lifestyle. Somebody has sold you to either settle down and be average and ordinary. Or the flip side is somebody sold you to live your best life. So what are you buying? You see, everything is sales. You see, your current belief system is something that somebody sold you that you subconsciously bought. Think about how much the religious leaders sell. Listen, my pastor, he loves to sell every Sunday. He sells us all in a destination that he's never been to and he sells us on a guy that he's never met. Isn't that sales? So when it comes to sales, you really don't have to learn anything new because your whole entire life, either somebody has sold you and you've bought or you've been selling and somebody else bought. Everything is sales. Tip number two, preparation. You've got to be confident in what you know. And at the same time, you gotta be confident to staying up to date with what changes. Here are four key areas in which we prepare our guys. Number one is scripts. With inside those scripts, there are keywords and buzzwords that trigger emotions into other people that causes them to want to buy. Number two, role play. When you sell, are you educating? Is it simple? Is your customer clear and what they're buying when you're talking to them about it? Is your customer clear on what they're buying when they're making a decision to get it? Third area, target market. Is the people that you're going after as customers a natural fit for purchasing your product or service? On a hot day, are you there to sell them water or coffee? Is your target market open to improving their lives? And is that person that you're talking to to sell your product or service the one actually making the decision? Which leads me to number four. So who actually are you talking to? Before you talk to them, because of social media, are you gathering enough intelligence and info on that person or that decision maker to help bring up some thoughts and ideas that they've been posting already to help them make a decision? So therefore, instead of coming into a sales conversation or a boardroom, instead of looking just like everybody else that's looking to pitch, you are there as a trusted resource, a confidant, an advisor, and you will end up attracting more business. Tip number three, it's a numbers game. Listen, you can't get caught up on the result of every conversation and every phone call and every Facebook post and every tweet that you do. What you have to get obsessed about is the repetition for success over and over and over and over again. You know what the funny part is? Most people won't do this. So naturally, you'll stick out. The reason why you can't get hung up on saying the perfect thing to the perfect person is even if you are saying the right thing, that person might be having a bad day and they take your information and conversation in the wrong way. Or you might be having a bad day. You may be saying the right things, but your projection is completely off. As a result, you don't get a sale, you don't make money, and you stay anxious. Just buy into the fact that you gotta go through a volume of people to finally get to the yes. And you're not the only person to get rejected. You're not the only person that somebody said no to. As long as you commit to making enough phone calls, contacts, and handshakes, you've done your part. Just keep in mind, to gain somebody's interest, you need to understand their points of pain and reasons why they would do business with you. Once you go through enough people just like that, eventually your sales, your conversation will pay off and you'll get one in the bag. Just to let you guys know, every day I have my own personal, what I call, power of power. I call my brand new associates, my trainees, 
rising leaders in my organization. And at the same time, I call plenty of potential candidates for our firm. Every day, I sincerely look to establish friendships and support their success. Every day, I look to give somebody in my network some referrals. Every month, I look forward to being parts of local chambers of commerce events, networking events, and local fundraisers. It's a numbers game, everybody. You go through the numbers, eventually you get to that yes. Tip number four, smile, laugh, and use humor. The fact that you and your prospect can both laugh at something will breed natural approval between the two of you. You open yourself up to be likable and potentially to be trusted. So some easy things to mutually laugh about are your sports teams, the traffic, kids, things that happen in the news, maybe even a new movie that came out, or the things that you need to improve on. Some of the biggest megastars today use humor and use comedy to get them to superstardom. Some of my personal favorites, Eddie Murphy, Jamie Foxx, Will Smith, and of course my Filipino buddy, Joe Coy. Hey, look, um, if you believe in yourself, then do it, okay? But if you don't think you can do it, then go to college and become a nurse. That will make your mom happy, bye. That's right, Joseph. Tip number five, go on a sales call with a mentor. If you're starting something new or taking your skills from one field to the field of sales, you've got to understand that ego is your enemy. As good as you think you are, you know what I found out? Most are not. At the same time, and as bad as you think you are, you're not. However, going on a couple sales calls, doing in-person presentations with a mentor will alleviate a lot of anxiety. I remember transitioning from the Marine Corps into sales and I learned a ton from Carton Enlow who was a retired master sergeant. When I first got started, I literally saw him do dozens and dozens of presentations. I remember sitting in a presentation one time, not only jotting down notes, but knowing when he's gonna say a joke, knowing when he's gonna weave in a story about a particular point. When I first came on board to PHP Agency, I watched my mentor, Patrick Bed David, go on a national RV tour. And in each of his cities, I heard him talk a message about free enterprise capitalism and entrepreneurship. Humbling yourself to work with a proven mentor will save you years of frustration, relieve a ton of anxiety, and help you get to your goals much faster. With that being said, I hope this helps you focus your energy and leaps over tons of weeks of frustration and anxiety. If you're watching this right now and you're looking to the field of sales to help you make a lot more money or regain the money that you've lost in previous years and you don't have somebody to work with and you're still walking around feeling anxious, drop me a message in the comment section below and we'll find a way to help you. One thing I love about sales is that once you master this craft, you'll learn to earn everything that you want. If you want to live your best life, you gotta sell your way to get there. Listen, I was talking to Alex at the beginning of this video for everybody that watched this video towards the end. I wanna give something to you. My sister and her husband, our family, invested in this company called Uncle Nearest, which is the best whiskey maker the world never knew. See, Jack Daniels had a mentor. See, that mentor was an emancipated slave known as Uncle Nearest Green. He actually was the one that field trained and mentored Jack Daniels on how to make whiskey. Make a long story short, Uncle Nears Green and his ancestors never got the love for helping make that type of whiskey up until now. And what I wanna do for the person that drops me the best comment on this video of the nugget that made the most sense to them, I'm gonna give them this hat, which is signed by Fawn Weaver, the CEO and owner of Uncle Nearest. From my desk, from my head, to your address. Meanwhile, let me know your thoughts and drop them in the comments section below. If you haven't done so already, make sure you click subscribe to our YouTube channel right here and make sure you click notifications to be alerted during our next episode. If you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you click like to join our business page. Thanks for watching. Make sure you share this video and until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart and be money smart today.